everyone, welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you guys are new here. Today, as you guys can see by the title, I am going to be showing you what I got this year for my toddler's Easter basket, all the little goodies that I decided to buy my two-year-old toddler, and hopefully give you guys some ideas for yours along the way. So let's just jump right into it. If you guys are not new to my channel, you know that in a previous vlog I showed you a little bit of a sneak peek of what I got Skylar May for her Easter basket. If you guys have not seen that vlog, I will make sure to link it up here and down below if you'd like to check it out. This is her Easter basket that I got for her off of Amazon. I think it is super stinking cute. It's just a wicker basket, but she definitely needed a little bit of an upgrade. It's got cute little handles on it so it could even be used as a picnic basket down the road, but it's got this like cloth lining in it and there's tiny little white daisies on it. I think they're daisies, but it's absolutely adorable. It has this little bow right here as well. So I think that is super stinking cute and it works perfectly for her little Easter basket. And I just got this to fill up the bottom of the Easter basket with. I'm also going to be using some of this for an Easter sensory bin that I'm going to be doing in an upcoming vlog. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I think the vlog will be uploaded um, Easter weekend around then. So make sure you guys subscribe and keep an eye out for that. But this is going to kind of line the bottom of her basket. Aside from treats, I got her things that are like spring and summer themed since we're getting into those seasons. Before the warmer weather, I decided to get her these two pairs of sunglasses. I got them off of Amazon and they are absolutely adorable. One of them is black and then the other one is like a peachy color and they're like in the shape of flowers and their lenses are like purple tinted but I just thought these were too cute not to get. My toddler hates wearing sunglasses but it was worth a shot. They even came with these little bags and they have like a little wipes inside for the lenses so I thought that was super cute. Pretty bougie for a toddler but and to kind of go along with her sunglasses, I also got her this new bathing suit. I think this is super freaking adorable. It's like a burnt orange in color and has little ruffles on the bottom. So too cute not to get the material. I don't know what kind of material it is, if it's cotton or what, but it's actually really soft and super stinking cute. I'm pretty sure, I hope it's gonna fit her. I'm pretty sure it will. Maybe just not for very long, but nonetheless, look at how cute that is. <laughs> and then because she doesn't have too many hats, I decided to get her um, a bucket hat for the summertime. This is nice because it has one of those little pull ties so you can make it tighter or make it looser. It has the chin strap that you can also make tighter or looser as well. And then the inside is kind of like a white mesh material so it doesn't get too hot, doesn't get too cold, and you can get it wet. So that's super cute. It might be a little bit big, but my daughter's got a pretty big noggin, so I think it's gonna fit just right, and it has that little tie, so if it is a little bit big, I can make it a little bit tighter and snug to fit, which is great. Next, I got her a really cute sweatsuit outfit that I saw at Walmart when I was there getting the rest of her Easter goodies the other day. So these are the pants. They're like cotton candy tie-dye style and they're just little jogger pants, but I think they are super stinking cute. And then they come with a, it's a two-piece set, so it came with a matching sweater and it just says love across it, I think. Yeah, love, and it was super, super cute. It was in between this one and another one. I think the other one was like blue and I almost got that one, but I forget, it didn't say love, it said something else. So I like this one a little bit better. I thought it was super cute. I love sweatsuits for toddlers and kids. I just think it's the cutest thing in the freaking world. And this was only 15 bucks, so I got it. <laughs> I usually get her um, a pair of clothes and it'll be nice and convenient in the summertime when we're camping, when she has to keep warm clothes on after she's done swimming and and whatnot, so that'll be perfect for that. And I got it in a size 
4T, so it'll be a little bit bigger on her, I think, I hope. <laughs> Next, I got her these pair of water shoes. I actually got these in the boys' shoe section at Walmart. The girls were also really cute, but they were just like really like hot pink. And I, if you know me, I like my neutral colors, my pastels, my deep colors. I don't like bright, highlighty colors. So I decided to get the boys' ones in black. They're neutral. She can wear them with anything. They'll go with pretty much anything. And I hope they'll fit her. They're a size 7 and 8, so they might be a little bit too big on her. They're perfect for the summertime because she does not like to get out of water. I have such a big water. Water baby she absolutely loves water but it's hard when we go to the lake because it's rocks not sand and it's hard on her feet she doesn't want to get out of the water but she constantly wants us to pick her up in the water she doesn't like to walk on it because it obviously hurts her little feetsies so I think these are gonna be a really good addition and she'll get a really good use out of them it'll just make them that much more fun when we go to the lake and the beach on those days so she can have these in the water Next, I got her one of her favorite things in the absolute world, it, which is a coloring book. This one is obviously a jumbo coloring book. It's not going to fit in her Easter basket. I'll just lie it next to it or on top of it, but she'll see it and get excited because she freaking loves these. Like when I'm saying she opens them, she flips through the pages. She colors these so fast, you guys, because she's just, she's obsessed with coloring in general, but this is just like, I don't know if it's because it's big and she gets super excited but she'll like color a whole page in like five ten minutes and then flip through it and pick a different page and she'll probably be done this whole book in like a week <laughs> no joke we used to get her these all the time and then we stopped getting them for her because it was too much of a demolition when she went through them because after she's finished she will rip the pages out and by the time it's done the book is like falling apart but nonetheless it's a special treat for a special holiday and a very special girl so i decided to get her the princess one and Skylar Mae really, really, really loves card games, so I decided to get her Old Maid, even though it's a little advanced. It's, I think it's a good one. It'll be good for her for matching things. Um, and Old Maid is such a classic card game, so I just got it. I thought, why not? She loves card games. Every time me and Chris are playing cards, she has to be up on the table and she has to have a card in each hand. So these are some cards that she can more than welcome play with. So I got her those and I also ordered her flash cards. I couldn't find any when I went to Walmart, oddly enough, so I just ordered some off of Amazon, but they haven't come in yet. So I'll just show you the ones that I got. So I just got these flashcards for her, they're first words, and those are supposed to be coming on Thursday, so they will get here before Easter. Skylar Mae is also getting really into stickers, so I decided to get her some stickers as well. I was looking for a sticker book, but honestly, she'll probably just put these like in her coloring book or something like that because she's like that. These really cute Easter stickers, they're just little Easter eggs and there's quite a few sheets in here. So I think those will last a little bit and she'll have a lot of fun with those. And last but not least, these are what I get for her Easter goodies. Of course, she doesn't need too much. She's a toddler and she definitely is going to get more when we do our Easter egg hunt and all that fun stuff. So I just got her a few of her favorite chocolates. The first one being Smarties. I love how they always have these Easter themed candies around Easter time. So there's this cute little package of bunny Smarties. I think there's like a big chocolate and then you crack it open and there's Smarties on the inside. So she'll absolutely absolutely love that. And then I also got her these little Reese's pieces and they're in the shape of a carrot, so how cute is that? We can use these as a potty training treat when she goes on the potty to reward her. They're perfect they're perfect because they're nice and small and bite sized for her. And then I just got her this really mini Kit Kat bunny just just simply because I thought it was too cute not to get. So I'm going to stick that in her Easter thing too and then I always get the classic Easter bunny chocolate and milk chocolate eggs because this is actually what I use to make a little trail from our door um, to her Easter basket so she can find it it's something that my mom used to do for me and my sisters because there was three of us obviously Skylar Mae is an only child so she there's only one basket for her but I still like to carry out the traditions and have that for her it's super super fun for me to to fulfill for her as well and make it come full circle 
so I always do a trail so when she wakes up in the morning she gets out of the bedroom she sees the chocolate egg trail and it's the cutest freaking thing this is her second Easter or her third Easter this is her third Easter but her second one being like involved in Easter because her first Easter she was only like six or seven months old I will link last year's Easter vlog up here and down below if you guys want to check it out because her reaction when she opened the door and saw this trail and her basket on the table was absolutely adorable Easter is so fun when you have kids so I cannot wait for her to wake up on Easter morning and Chris's mom and grandma will be here with us for Easter weekend as well so they'll get to experience that and that will also be super super fun but that is everything that I got for Sky and May's Easter basket this year it is definitely full I hope this video gave you some ideas for your toddler. I know I got a few of these ideas, especially the ones that I got off Amazon. I got from a couple other mom's videos that I've seen what they put in their toddlers and kids Easter baskets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great Easter weekend this weekend upcoming. I think you guys are seeing this the Wednesday before Easter weekend. At least that's when I plan to have it uploaded. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday and enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below for more content like this. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.